In this tutorial, I would like to introduce the Alifia Document Analysis System. To get the Alifia software, simply head over to our website and go to the Tools section. So, what is Alifia? Essentially, it's an editor and a viewer for document page content. I need to explain this. When we talk about a physical document, we mean a book or a newspaper for instance, in Alithia, when we talk about a document, we mean a single page. The content of a page is defined by segmentation, structure and text. I will explain more later, but first, let's start Alithia. As you can see, Alithia is a classical Windows tool with a menu, a toolbar, document windows and a status bar. To start, you can either open a document image, or as I will do now, an existing page content file. The native file format is called PageXML, but we also support Alto and FineReader XML as well as HOCR. The related image files are loaded automatically. I will now go through the different sections of the toolbar. The main view in the center shows the document image with some overlays. For now, I will switch to the plain image view. You can pan and scroll with the mouse, but there are also some useful shortcuts on the toolbar. On the very left of the Home tab, you can find basic information on the current document, metadata, statistics and page attributes. There is also a settings dialog with many options for customization. For more information, please see the user guide, which you can access from the far right on the toolbar. I will now switch to the Image tab. Alithia allows you to work with two document images for one page. Although one image would be enough, many features require a black and white image. If you don't have one at hand, you can create one here with the integrated binarization tools. The next tab, Bounds, contains tools for border and print space. The border can be used to separate the page foreground from the background. The background could be scanner background, book cover and so on. The print space is the core area excluding page number and running headers, for instance. The Region tab is the most interesting one and contains also the most features. Regions represent the physical content of a page. Like all other geometric objects in Alithia, they are specified by a polygon and attributes. Polygons allow for a very precise description of the shape of a region and are yet more efficient than bitmaps, for example. Precision is required when text flows around graphics, for instance, as you can see here, the level of detail is only limited by the pixel resolution of the document image. All polygons can be fully edited at point level. The tools in the middle of the toolbar can be used to create regions in different ways. This will be explained in future videos. Each region has a type and attributes. To view those, simply double click a region or use the toolbar. Alithia supports 13 different types of regions and many more subtypes. Each region type contains different attributes. For text regions, for example, you can specify text type, production, language, script and font properties. The next major feature is Unicode text content. A specialized font and a virtual keyboard allow the exact transcription of text content, especially for historical documents. For easy spell checking, text can be displayed directly on the image. Logical layout features like reading order and layers will be explained in another video. Text regions can be further divided into text lines, words and glyphs. The respective toolbar tabs contain tools to recreate and modify those objects. The relationships can be viewed in the All Regions dialog. The last toolbar tab contains some experimental features for demonstration purposes. This concludes the introduction. Please check our YouTube channel for more videos.